On May 30, 2010, Yarra Trams celebrated an important milestone in the history of Melbourne's tram network with the centenary of Malvern Tram Depot. The Parana Malvern Tramways Trust Act 1907 established the PNMTT as the organisation charged with building electric tramways in the municipalities of Paran and Malvern. Its charter was to provide better transport for the area and assist in its development. Previous attempts by the railways to introduce a steam bus service had failed due to reliability and road conditions at the time. The founding chairman, Alex Cameron, became known as the father of Melbourne's electric trams. On October 20, 1909, track construction began on the High Street line from Charles Street, Paran to Taronga Road, Malvern. A branch from this line went south along Glen Ferry Road to Wattletree Road, where it turned east at Burke Road. The site for the depot was chosen in Cold Blow Road, where it remains to this day. On May 30, 1910, the first two routes were opened. They were operated by a fleet of 13 California combination cars, which were a near identical design to number 44, one of two trams restored for the centenary celebrations. The other, P and MTT 84, served Melbourne from Malvern Depot for 14 years before being transported to Bendigo where it ran in public transport service for a further 41 years. One of the restored trams was used in a reenactment of the historic first tram service from the depot 100 years earlier, while the other gave invited guests the chance to experience rides along Glen Ferry Road to Dandenong Road and return. historical cars that uh, are still in existence. It was one of the maximum traction type cars and they were built in about 1912 by Duncan and Fraser, a very famous Adelaide uh, tram building company. They ran in Melbourne until the late 1930s and then they were sent to Bendigo, Ballarat and Geelong. And of course the tram we're on today has been magnificently restored and brought back to life by the Bendigo Tramways. It was originally from, uh, started its life out here in, uh, in Malvern, um, moved up to Bendigo uh, quite some time later, um, I think it was in the, what's your bet, during the 40s, and, and it's uh, been in regular service as, even before the Talking Trams, it was in regular service up in Bendigo. So far so good, the tram's performing well, um, it'll probably run for another 95 years there. had the first trip on the tram. We're here at Dan Young Road. How was that for you? Absolutely fabulous, thank you. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're very pleased to gather today for an historical event, if any, in Melbourne. Today, Melbourne Depot is the largest of our eight tram depots with more than 250 Yarra tram employees and 83 trams operating on five routes. Now, the current employees maintain the proud family tr tradition, the tramy tradition, that was established a century ago and is still so prevalent today. Tickets, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. It is fantastic to see so many people celebrating uh, what is a very proud history. And the story of Melbourne, the story of Melbourne is very much the story of trams. Trams are woven into the very fabric of our history and that situation, uh, that was the situation some 100 years ago when this depot was built. So in 1910, the first chocolate and uh, cream coloured trams rolled out of uh, the Melbourne uh, depot for the first time. Over time, as cable lines were converted to electric operation, connecting services to the city were provided, which have continued to this day.
To mark the historic occasion of a hundred years of tram service, a commemorative plaque was unveiled at the original site. And today Malvern Depot is the largest of the eight Yarra Trams depots, with more than 250 employees and 83 trams operating on five routes.